What is up guys, it's Ben with C3 Media. Today I've got an install video for you guys on the Ronin factory. It's a uh, stubby antenna. I've got a 2017 F-150 here and we'll go ahead and uh, get this thing tore down and kind of show you guys a little step-by-step -step install on how easy these things really are. I've gone ahead and opened this thing up. Um, this is your little antenna here. It's got a hole here so you can thread each one of these two little stubs in here. This thing says it will fit a Ford or Ram truck, so you kind of have two different options here, kind of go with what you have. Um, and I will just say one thing about this company is they do very good on their branding and advertising and all their decals and logo kind of stuff. Um, I really enjoy working with this company. I think they're pretty cool and um, hope you guys like this video here. So now we're over here at the truck. Um, I just have a set of vice grips here to go ahead and get this antenna broke loose. Um, you can use this or a wrench or a set of pliers or kind of anything. I'm just kind of showing you you can use about any tool you have. I had these sitting in the back of my truck. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing broke loose and we'll probably be able to thread it off by our fingers a little bit and uh, go ahead and get this new antenna put on. So we have got the old antenna off and you can see it's got a little bit bigger of a thread um, and they sent two threads to actually lock the new one down in there with. So you can tell that this is definitely going to be the one we're using. That orange stuff is the anti-theft thread lock that they keep talking about and that'll keep this thing in here. So we'll go ahead and get this bigger one screwed into the new antenna and uh, get it put on the truck. So I've got the one end threaded up into the antenna here and we'll go ahead and stick this one down. In this one and actually see how far that it will thread down into here so we can try to get the uh, arrows facing out and facing the outside of the truck and I've heard online that it takes a couple tries on this to get it out standing right because right now it's wanting to face the inside of the truck so just a couple more turns maybe and we'll have this thing over here. So I've tried everything I can do depending on flipping that little um, stud in and out of this antenna or screwing it in at a different rate or clocking the screw at some point and I cannot get to where their little logo was facing the outside. So I kind of just gave up on it. I've tried for 10 minutes or so and can't really figure anything out. Um, I kind of saw a lot of people online were kind of struggling with the same thing. So if anybody out there kind of has any ideas or figured out how they got theirs to do it, um, definitely let me know. So um, there it is and finished up and I'll give you guys some uh, better pictures from the front and back and we'll go ahead and go in and uh, test this FM signal out. So the reception still isn't perfect. I kind of went out there and tinkered with it a little bit and see if I could get the uh, little bolt in there a little bit tighter. But um, all in all, um, I listened to a lot of Pandora and since this truck's got Apple CarPlay on it. So uh, I was kind of just trying to get away from the big three foot long floppy antenna. And um, it definitely makes it a lot, just ties it a lot better in with the truck. Um, everything, the wheel accents are matte black and so is that antenna. So I think, to be honest, um, with kind of what I was going for with this antenna, I think it's a success. Um, I wish the radio reception was a little bit better, but um, maybe if anybody can comment and see if they've uh, had a good or bad experience with this thing as well too, um, drop something in the comments or uh, shoot me an email. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you guys learned something.